Okay, thank you. All right, so I have my timer set and I'm starting now. I want to say thank you guys so much for having me. My name is Chanel Fletcher. I'm the Deputy Executive Officer of the California Air Resources Board. I took a little different tact on this because I literally just started my job. Um, but I think what I wanted to talk about was my own personal kind of like theory of change and how it influences the work that I'm doing right now. And so one of the things that you'll see right here is this Alice Walker quote. And I think the point of this that I wanted to really emphasize is that all my life, I really have had to fight. Like that is something that I think as a black woman, that is really intrinsic and true to the work that we have to do, right? We have to fight to be heard, we fight to be seen, fight to be at the table, fight to be, I think, and have the conversations around beauty and what shapes that, because we are literally in a society that has told us that white is superior, also known as like white supremacist culture. Next slide. And I bring that energy into the workplace, no matter if it's in the nonprofit sector or no matter if it's in the government sector, because this is a society that we live in, right? So we have these implicit and explicit messages that very clearly tell us um, and reinforce, I think, that white supremacist culture. And then in addition to that, we have these layers of just you know, institutional and structural racism. And that is a lot. Right. So I think um, especially when you're coming in um, into a state agency and coming in in some ways, thinking about all of that, it is very easy to get overwhelmed and it's very easy to feel uh, powerless, for lack of better words. So another thing that kind of really inspires my own theory of change is and I think, you know, um, Angela Davis, I mean, the idea that every day it is a choice to believe that we can radically transform the world. And that is, that is a choice that I choose into every day that I get up, I go on Zoom, I type, I talk to community members, I think about you know, the different work that we're doing, whether it's cap and trade or whatever it may be. And I think about these are the actions that we're going to do and how we're gonna co-create that to really start to change. Um, next slide, or I'm sorry, it's not next slide, it's time, that's the right. But I think uh, the one thing I will say before we get to that one, I guess, or timing's off, but the last part is, is just my picture. And it talks about the fact that like, um, I believe that if I change myself, I change the world. That's right. Um, and so in this slide, I think what's really important and what makes a lot of sense to me is that as we're having some of those big kind of like global conversations, right? And so again, I think coming from the air resources perspective, there are these big conversations that are happening around climate change, how that impacts um, disadvantaged, low income, you know, BIPOC communities. There's also conversations that we have and that we own ourselves and that we start to think about and be very conscious about what are the ways in which we are showing up? What are the ways in which we are challenging the norms? Um, and what are the ways in which we ourselves are not doing that work? And that's what I think I leave myself with every day is how do I come to the table um, decolonize my own mind, and then I think push for others to do the same. Thank you so much.